Okay, today I want to show you my solution for if you're having this problem with your lawnmower. Um, I have a pretty steep backyard, and as I think a lot of people, based on the internet, I have problems cutting the grass because of the slope, especially if the grass is a little moist. Um, as you'll see here, the grass is just a little bit wet, and I have a pretty decent lawnmower, a you know, little John Deere, but um, just because of these all-terrain tires, getting around in the backyard in several places is a nightmare. I mean, really, it's painful to cut. It makes me dread cutting the grass. So. Here's uh, the hill um, on the back side of the house. It's a pretty steep hill. And as you'll see, I'm not trying to cut it up and down, which obviously wouldn't work. I'm just trying to move from one side to the other. And, and I have this problem. It just sits there and spins because, I mean, there's just, there's really no traction on these. And I actually have to turn the lawnmower pointing downward to get it to take off. So you can see even here, I have kind of a running start. And when I get to the same area, same problem. And when the wheels spin like this, it um, actually will kill the grass. It'll tear up the grass in those areas. I can't come straight up the hill. So you can understand, it's pretty tough cutting this, even with the riding lawnmower. I can't go up the hill directly. Uh, it's hard to go side to side, which really means I would almost have to cut it in a downward fashion and then keep repeating. It, it was, it's just a nightmare. So I, I kind of researched some solutions online to dealing with this. And there are several people out there using different kind of techniques. And whether it be replacing the tires or snow chains and, and this is the other part of my house as well this hill isn't even that steep it's just the fact that when you're cutting right here you're on a you're going up an incline and turning and between the two of those it kind of binds it so let me show you quickly how to replace the tires at least on this john deere i think a lot of them are the same so you take off the little rubber cap with a pair of pliers there's this little snap ring right here um just grab it with a pair of pliers and it, put, it snaps right off. Uh, when you look at it, it's very intuitive. And really, the video is not about how to replace your tire. I just want to show you how I replace my tire in case this helps. So obviously, I had jacked the lawnmower before I did this, or that wouldn't have worked. So here's what I'm going back with. I'm going to go back with these tractor tires. Um, they were about 60 bucks on Amazon. The link's going to be below. Um, so I didn't replace them myself. I took them down to the local tire place, and they charged me seven dollars to. Um, swap them both out so that's about it once I put the tires back on I um, actually watered the grass for a few minutes just so I could get an even comparison and here is the exact same area with these tractor tires on and um, matter of fact if anything these things have actually too much traction in a lot of cases um, the back wheels have traction even though the front wheels won't so the, the lawnmower will be going but you're not really steering anymore so I mean I guess if there's a such thing as um, having a, a good problem I guess that's the problem is that the, the wheels actually can't even keep up with the with the traction being delivered by these new uh, tractor tires so I think it worked out great you know spent cost me about 130 bucks total between the two tires and of course having them mounted and I can tell you that I don't dread cutting the grass nearly as much as I used to. It used to just be just a nightmare to um, even have to deal with. So hope that helps. Uh, if you liked the video, if it helped anyway, please click like, please subscribe. Uh, that's what I'm here for to help you guys out. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. I'm happy to help in any way I can. Thanks, guys. See you next time.